Hello friends, thank you for coming back. This is Elaine Marie. How are you today? Well, step two. What we're going to do today, if you notice in the picture, see all the dark is black, okay? That's going to work as like a shadow because the sun would obviously would not be bright here because the sun wouldn't be able to get to this area. So we go very dark in here, and that will make the flowers on the bottom, and these flowers, all stand out so beautiful. And when we do the darkness, I'm going to show you we do not run it straight across, because the shadow would not, in real life, be going straight across. It'd be going up and down. Okay, I have my tray. Two cups of water, and for some reason, I forgot to say this yesterday, if you ever have to run out real quick or get the phone, spray, this is water, spray your paints, because this way when you come back, they won't dry out on you, because they have a tendency to dry a little quick. Alright, my damp rag, and my, um, paper towel. Okay, the most important thing I ever want to tell you, when you paint, it's fun. Now, when you go to paint any of the flowers, you might say, you know what? I want yellow. I want a red. I want more this or more that. You don't have to do exactly what a picture is showing you or any videos that we do, you can do your own ideas. The techniques will always be the same. It's about having fun and making it your own. If you like flowers are more red, then you put in the red. Okay, but the technique will always be the same. Okay, we're coming over here. Here we go. Down here we have, okay, we have the black, but I'm going to we make it more, not so solid, give it more like a, lighten up like that, there you go, okay, yes, perfect, work from the bottom, the bottom and up, and you see how I'm giving it that flick, right, because you wouldn't want a straight line look across the top, so I can see now, all right, I'm going to dab a little bit more black. Okay, here we go. And we're also giving it a nice blend. And we're not going to go too far up. Okay. All righty. This way we're going to have smaller flowers here and the other flowers a little higher up. And always work on the corner of your brushes. Okay, I'll give you some dabbing here. I'll dab it white. Okay, giving it like a little two tone of the darkness here. This is going to look really nice. And this is going to be your shadow. And this is where we're going to be having, again, your plants will be on here. Just like in here, it really shows that depth. And it's going to be beautiful once we get brighter flowers lower here. And then your higher, greener grass on top. Now, right now, we got like a two-tone black with some lighter gray mix. If you like it blacker, then you go ahead and you make it that way. Again, this is about having fun, and having painting, and getting your own ideas, but the technique is always the same. One way going up in the brush, and that's what we decide to do today. Again, see we have dark, light, 
dark and light. And this will all pop out, help pop out, your flowers, which will be on the bottom. And once we put that greenery up there, it's going to look fantastic. So right now, this is step two. We got that all ready. And then step three, we're going to start with our greenery on top here. Yes, like this. All the high green. Yeah. Okay. And then later, another step, we're going to do the lower flowers. And I hope you had fun. And again, this is about having fun. If you want to make this darker, then you make it darker. If you don't want it there, that's fine. But it's good to have that there because it's going to make a lot of the flowers, like I said, pop out. And that's going to work as your shadow area. So today we just needed the one brush. There you go. And the two colors, the black and the white. And the white softened up the black. Well, I'm excited for step three. And I hope all my friends can tune in. And thank you for tuning in today. This is Elaine Marie, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.